Hello? It's a hello, Taliban. <laughs> hello, I'm Estelio Segura. I'm, a, uh, I'm an artist from Cuba. And I'm uh, for the first time in this uh, art fair here in, in uh, Castle. <laughs> well, these pieces belong to a, a, a project that is called Emigrants, and it's basically uh, so I have a long group of work uh, where I use uh, cars as the main element in the in the project. But in this case, it's something really special because it's, it's like that it was a, an important moment in the history of Cuba. In 1962, 14,000 children were sent uh, with a program called Peter Pan Project. Uh, they were sent by their own uh, to the States. And somehow the idea was to have them away uh, from the communists. And by the same, but at the same time, they tried to, uh, of course, make through the American dream, having a big situation because they are they were children and what they leave behind, they leave behind their own dreams. And uh, toys is one of the most uh, uh, regular uh, symbol that have connection with the child with the child. And what I did is to collect um, all pedal cars, all kind of uh, toy, but basically pedal cars, and make my own kind of recreation of the dreams uh, based on my own in my own memory of my childhood and based also on uh, history that some of the child that already have the experience that right now are over 60 years old people I mean actually 70 years old uh, they have the memory of the moment that they were living in Cuba and it was not their decision. It was the decision that their father, that their parents made for them, to, for, for better, of course. But at the same time, most of them have the trauma of losing their best moment in life when they were a child. So all these pieces are just called then emigrants. And this is emigrant number nine, because what happened is they, all the child that were sent to, to the state at the moment then they lose, uh, they don't have like a kind of passport They was called by numbers. So they, they lose, technically they lose the name to travel on that moment. So they would tell like emigrant number one, number two, number three, number four. So uh, it was like a kind of a concentration plan, uh, camp, and to send them uh, away from, from Cuba in that case. And um, I know in so many other cases, we have the same, same experience in, in history for different reasons. Because uh, I remember in the 80s, we have a Chernobyl children that were sent from Russia to Cuba to, for health close to the beach. And, and they for, for political, more for political reasons than really for health reasons. Uh, it was like, you know, show a, a very good image. Yeah, well, this is uh, well, it's one of the versions of, of that, um, because when you're a child, you, yeah, you have a pedal car. For everybody, it looks like just as a simple pedal car, for, but for the dreams and for the view of a child. It's more like that. It's more that. It's more like a dream. It's like a flying inside the inside his dreams. So the way that I try to uh, make uh, the dream come true, to recreate the dream, is somehow making that kind of thinking the idea. It's more. It's more the the creation of the idea in the, in the child mind that's really the the. the Well, we, we decided to uh, make a this new one because I have I made some other. But uh, this is a, uh, actually it's based in the Volga, 
1988. It was one of the last Volgas, and, and that kind of Volga, as a pedal car, as a toy, it was sent to Cuba uh, in 1989. Uh, and then I, was, I wasn't able to find a new one. But for Jordi, we found this one in, in eBay. It was in Holland. So uh, normally I, I made the whole process of the work in Cuba, in my own studio. But I decided this way to do all the parts that I'm gonna add to the car, to turn the car into a piece of work, make in Cuba, and put all the things to, together here. There's been you know, a lot of situation in terms of transportation and all that, because uh, uh, not only that piece, pieces coming from, from Paris, they have a, a demonstration for the 1st of May, and, and the, the picture that I sent, it, it would, they, they sent it was late, and the same thing happened with Cuba. We're running out of electricity, out of gas. Everything is delayed. Sometimes they don't work. And so the DHL, that for really we have DHL in Cuba, uh, uh, even having those those problems, the DHL left later. And, and so we were able to really install the piece and do the whole thing here in, at the art fair, in the, in the, the parking lot uh, yesterday. So the, right the day of the opening. So I, I think it's a, one important thing is that Pinocchio is, is always like a, kind of connect with, uh, with all of us. Like everybody have a history, connect with their parents, people that control uh, the reality, the truth. In our childhood, it's always our parents, the old people, the adult people. And we, they always, we always get tell from the old people, don't do the send up Pinocchio, because it's wrong. But at the same time, when you grow up, and you, then you realize that the whole history is manipulated. The whole history itself is never tell by the people that made the history itself is more tell by the people that have the power to make the history. And uh, so history is always manipulated and, and what I try to do with the, uh, with the Pinocchio, I mean the whole period itself is called history by their own tale. And, and the idea is that uh, the history turned uh, so, uh, into something very confusing that I've somehow, somehow at some point get complicated and, and disorganized but at the end, what emerged is the truth. And uh, so, this piece uh, uh, that is called To Build the Kills and, and, and Share It is, is about uh, that way that, 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 you know, we build all kinds of things and we create all the rulers, we create all different kinds of things to be organized, but really it's depending on how convenient it is for the people. And, uh, and the people that build the rulers, somehow they're guilty. Somehow they're guilty and, and somehow they play with the guiltiness and they share the guiltiness. So when everybody approves something that is maybe wrong, but is, is the law, everybody gets involved in the law because it's approved. But the reality, and the reality is that uh, it's, it's just created by the power. It's, it's not created from the truth itself. And uh, so that, that's the idea, and, and, and all the books are up somehow not really showing what kind of books, what they are talking about. This can be any history, can be any law, can be anything, can be any situation that is manipulated. It's not just, uh, uh, it's not the police, it's not the government, it's, it's not the gallery, it's not my father, it's, my, no, it's not my mother. It's, it can happen anywhere, and uh, and and don't really depends. It's, it's no a book for that. It's, it's it's something that can happen everywhere. I love is a part of a, of a of a long project of work that is called, uh, you cannot eat everything that flies. And it comes out of that kind of uh, thinking, uh, uh, Chinese thinking that said, everything that, uh, that flies, runs and swings can be eaten. 
And in this case, it's a, a lot of things that fly, like the, the plane, the mine. There is a very a lot of sophisticated things in terms of concept that are able to fly and they are not able to be eat. And, and uh, it's a joke at the same time, the idea. And so I, ha I have done a lot of different uh, uh, sculptures, uh, works, uh, images, talking about the idea of flying. But there was a moment when I was developing the whole project that I decided that I want to make uh, like something very iconic, talking about the, the, the experience of flying in terms of emigration, in terms of uh, nostalgia, in terms of love. And uh, there was a moment in, in, in that I was living in Spain for a long time, for over five years, and I decided to get back to Cuba. There was about the moment that Fidel Castro gave back the power to Raul Castro, his, to, to his brother. And I was like very curious, like to, everything come together and at that time, and then I decided, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back, see, leave in Cuba again, permanently, and check what is going on and what happens. And at the same time, I decided, well, I'm, I'm leaving uh, a country and a city that I love, that was Madrid. And, and I want to make something that closed the whole project. So I tried many different ways. It was nine hours fly, going back to Cuba. And uh, I get to the point that finally I decide the way that it's going to be goodbye, that was, is, is right now goodbye my love, in a, in a little drawing little of cash and then it was it was somehow talking about nostalgia because I was I was living uh, a city that I love uh, together with I get divorced and I leave behind many things personal things and personal memories and at the same time I was go, going back to my to my love in terms of city and the place that was Cuba and Havana so I realized that uh, I want to make something that uh, you talk about emigration, but in, in, in good terms, like in, in a very optimistic way, uh, that talk about beauty, about nostalgia, about love, and, and about how important it is to be an immigrant. Uh, so how to build good things, learning from different cultures, from different places. And so goodbye, my love is not like really a goodbye, it's, it's like a bridge to new things. It's like the beginning of something else. It's been all around the world. I mean, it's a long, it's a long group of uh, places where Goodbye My Love has been in all the different sizes. The first time I showed the piece, it was in, in uh, 2011 in Havana, in, in the uh, uh, National Art Center, uh, the version of three, and then they, uh, I, I, went, I was invited to Times Square, invited by the uh, Rockefeller and Brothers Foundation and Times Square Alliance and the Cuban Art Foundation to do a show in Times Square in Anita's Way. So that was 2013. And then I get the prize from the Tampa International Airport. So it's a permanent installation of By My Love in, in Tampa at the airport. And uh, it's, it's in private collections, in many different private collections around the world, in, in uh, you know, Latin America, in, in the state, in Canada. In, in England, in Germany, in, in uh, Spain, in many places in Europe, in China, in India. And there's many places where Goodbye My Love is, is, is been on. It's been traveling, it's, it's right now here in, in the art fair. My Love is created to do that, it's created to fly around and, and be, you know, be touched, being touched by everybody, like, and um, close to everybody. And that's the reason why is diversified in terms of size as well and so any anybody that collect uh, art can have uh, depending on what they can they can so they, they, they have different versions of goodbye my love yeah well this this is a um, like a combination of the idea of uh, of flying and the idea of emigration, and the, the, the two things uh, connect. And it's a project that I've been working on, uh, creating uh, the whole thing for a long time. I think it's I started to do the first ideas, uh, create the first idea in 2009, 2008, and it's it's called Los Lages, and. Um, uh, 
One is a very simple thing that is, I have the experience since I've been traveling from very, from over 30 years now. Uh, there is always somebody that works with me, that is a, uh, a friend of mine or whatever, that, uh, that always asks me, always ask me if, I, if I can take them inside the, uh, my luggage because they want to leave the country, they want to fly away, they want to... And so I decided to, after long time, I decided to make a, a luggage with the form of an aeroplane and, uh, and give the chance, at least in, in, a, in, a, in our terms, in, in, in the conceptual art, the idea that they, they can fly away conceptually. And so I'm doing um, all different kind of portraits of people that have that uh, kind of feeling that they want to leave the country and they so I give them the chance to live with, with all the different kind of objects that they want to travel if they want, if they have the chance to fly. So it's more people that are all around the world and that cannot travel, that don't have money, don't have the chance, that they don't even have an idea of what is an aeroplane inside. And they have and, and many people that haven't is, is never have seen a, a plane really. Uh, from close or not even flying. So this project is going to be um, uh, uh, with some, sometimes with real people, sometimes I create the people, uh, but mostly are real people that, that have the experience of, or have the feeling that they want to travel and, and go away from, from home. And it's not, I start with people from Cuba, but really the part of the idea is that I'm going to be traveling with a suitcase and I'm going to be shooting pictures of people that have the same, the same kind of feeling, the same kind of situation, either in Europe or in Latin America and different, different places. And of course, it's going to be different in terms of culture, in terms of image. And, and they have to do also with this kind of uh, intercultural kind of a uh, relation. Uh. I have, I mean, since 1989, I've been working in uh, all many different projects. I think I have developed about 15 different projects, group of work or series, whatever the way you want to tell. And I never close any of the projects. I never finish one, any one of the projects. So I'm working now, I'm finishing most of the projects for the, from the first ones until the last one. And at the same time, developing new ones because Right now, I'm, I'm already working in a project that is called uh, um, Political tu Turismo Político, like Political Tourism. And it's about this kind of uh, way that every country has to show their culture, their, their, their situation, and how they play uh, with their politics in terms of, um, they turn the politics in, into, a, uh, into an object. And the object, most of the time, is uh, become like a souvenir. So the politics of every country, it turned into a souvenir. So when, like when you go to Russia, they, want, they sell some political situation as a souvenir. When you go to the state, you, you have the political situation of them and it sells, it's a souvenir. And you, go, you come to Germany and you go to Cuba, everybody play with their politics in terms of, and, and the politics become a, become a souvenir. And it become attractive for people going to China, going to Korea going to uh, Vietnam and you know I have I have memories of places that the reason why many people want to go is because the political situation they're curious and the, the governments know that so they play with that situation as a, as a souvenir so I, I'm going to do a piece of work a group of work that talk about all these those different situations it's going to be monumental pieces that at the same time, they will be turned into uh, souvenirs. And, uh, and it's a souvenir about the political situation. Make through the language of art. And that, that's, that's the next project that I'm working on right now. Perfect, thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome.